Shanti, none other than our guest of honor, Sijukta Suresh Mantri, and good, excellent orator to address the audience, sir, may I invite you to deliver your speech, sir, please. Please give a very big hand for our guest of honor, sir, please. My dear students, esteemed guests in the bears, my respect to all the guests who are sitting before us and all the members of faculty and all the employees of Kalinga School of Commerce, Kalinga College of Commerce. This is a, a very good day. Because it's a foundation day in the life history of Upasana Trust, coupled with another function of the Kalinga College of Commerce. So, this is a day when you are told about your vision, your vision. Vision is what you have achieved in the past. So, it is said, the President Obama who said, it's very easy to fix up goals, but how to realize them is a matter of importance. So, putting something the vision document is quite easy. It is very, very difficult how to realize that. So I think with the painstaking preparation and elaborate background work done by the principal of the institute and the chairman, Mr. Nisa, supported by Mr. Patra, and many others, this institute has, has the power in itself to develop very fast. Friends, you know you are living in a global village where all global citizens who should have global perspectives. And India is preparing herself to be a part of the global dream and to transform India as a strong Asian power. So, before I go to the other aspect of my speech, I will say every organization or nation, whatever it is, has a history and has a geography. So the organizations grow not by the process of wind, star, or sun, or the rain, but by ideals and passion which animate it. So the passion and ideals which are available in this institute and the vision and the dream definitely will help this institute to grow from strength to strength. I remember it's a Sigborn fraud. It's a Dastanika. Paul famous Dastanika, Sigborn fraud. He said, the first human who threw an insult instead of a stone in the founder of civilization, Pratham Manisha, Take insult the Sigila, Potropoke Sigla, insult the Sigila, Seochi, true and the past founder of civilization. Means students should have a scientific bent of mind, a spirit of inquiry, and you should argue about things and find out what is truth. Not by throwing a stone but by agitating the mind and asking questions. So, it is Einstein that you know, a great scientist who said, once you are taking an examination of the students in a class, so one of the students rose his hands and he said, sir, this time the questions are damn cheap, 
Sorry, Dam Iji. Because it is a repetition of last year's. Einstein gave a smile. He said, my dear student, I understand the questions are easy, but this time the answers are going to be different. So I think in our country, in our nation, the questions are same. We are poor, we are not a lot. We have miles to go, as the people said. But the answers are different. I think this institute, which is a new visionary, will be able to provide a different answer to this development paradigm. The skill of I was I retired as the secretary of the labor and employment. I have the statistics to show that the total proportion of skilled manpower to the population here in India is barely 20 percent. In South Korea, the percentage is 98 percent. Japan, China is around 80, and in never in China. It is 60. So you see, only skill of Gedderson is taken off seriously. So we are not going to anywhere. The skill education or vocational education, whatever you say. So what is the objective? I think what is the objective? We are looking at the objective. The great aim of education, <coughs> said by Herbert Spencer, it is not knowledge, it is what? Anybody can fill up the dash? The great aim of education is not knowledge, there is what? Knowledge is not the objective of education, no knowledge. It's action. Action. So, I say what, what the students studying here, either in the vocational course or in the commercial, commerce class, they are treated as men of action. That, that doing that, the training, taking action. So, I think they are the real recipients of education. It's which are created not in the stock markets but in our university systems. So the university systems will produce persons with intangible assets. They refer to grey power. So that, that is important. So I refer to two professors, Sachan Warner, Harvard University. They were making research. Kuriya Bhasa Kala Sema research Kurutile, Harvard Professor Dijano, Sachan Warner. What are they have in Kultura? German. What natural will they have? Nothing. Not even compared to Odisha. But they have developed human intelligence and values. I think here in this institute, there are certain feedback or impulse which can increase your level of imagination, level of thinking level of intelligence. So with these words, I will conclude with I am hurry to go three meetings in the agenda today. So I am leaving with a lot of thanks to the organizers the meeting who have taken adequate care and caution and preparation to make this meeting a success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, speech. Thank you once again for sharing your great knowledge with our students. And to present a very philosophical and brilliant speech, I expect that my students will learn much from your experience. Thank you once again. Please, sir. Please give a very good job.